Hello, boys and girls. I'm Teacher Rigan. Once again, welcome to Easy Limu, uh, where learning is simplified. And in our today's session, still under factors, we are going to discuss greatest common divisor, normally abbreviated as GCD. Greatest common divisor. Uh, this is a concept that you did in grade four, grade five. Yeah, you discuss GCD in grade five. Uh, and therefore, it's not something that is new. We are just going to maybe expound a little bit on the same and discuss some of the applications of the same concept. So, under introduction, under introduction, we are going to say that GCD, GCD is also, is also, referred to as the highest highest common factor abbreviated by as HCF. So if you see a question in exam asking you to get the HCF of the following numbers, then that is the same as GCD. Let us look at an example. Very fast, an example you can be asked to calculate or rather find find the HCF of the following of the following numbers of the following numbers. And you have the numbers as, say, uh, 4, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, one fact, two factors, sorry, they have more than two factors. So the first step, what we are going to do is to highlight all the possible factors of each and every number here. Then from there, we pick the highest common factors. Common in the sense that, that is a, it's a factor of the first digit, it's also a factor in the second digit, and a factor in the third number, and it is the highest. So here, list all the possible that is our method one. We can call this method one. All the possible factors of each number, of each number, i.e., so we have four, all the possible factors of four, we have one, two, and four. All the possible factors of 12, we have one, two, three, four, six, and 12 itself. All the possible factors of 36, we have one, two, three, we have four, we have six, we have nine, we have 12, we have, um, 18 and 36 itself. So in the second stage, you write, pick out the common factors and identify the greatest or the highest. So that is, i.e., the common factors, i.e., our common factors, i.e., we shall have our common factors. So the first common factor there is 1. The second common factor is 2. Because it is here, it's a factor of the first number, factor of the second number, and a factor of the third number. The third common factor, is it 3? No, 3 is not here. So the third common factor is 4. 
Then from 4, we have um, our fourth common factor. Is it 9? No, it's 12. 12. Yeah, these are the only common factors. And the greatest of them is 12. So, since 12 is the greatest common factor, is the greatest common factor, it is the HCF of 4 12 and 36 so method 2 method 2 we can write the numbers horizontally 4 then separated with the uh, tables 36 Then we identify the first prime number that can that is a common factor to all of them and that is 2 so 2 into 4 2 times 2 into 6 12 rather 6 times 2 into 36 18 times so the next prime factor that can divide all the three numbers is still 2 so 2 not really there's something wrong we have done here 12 is not common. Eh? 12 is not common in all the three numbers. Kindly note that 12 is not common. So we only have the three common factors. 1, 2, and 4. Then you say since 4 is the greatest common factor of common factor it is it is the hcf of 4 12 and 36 kindly take note of that so in method 2 i say you identify the first prime factor that the least prime, the first least prime factor that can divide all the three numbers and that is 2 2 into 4 2 times into 12 6 times into 36 18 times again the next prime number that we have that can go into the three of them is 2 2 into 2 1 into 6 3 here 9 so at this point the only factor that can go into 1 3 and 9 is 1 and that will not make any difference yeah? if you write 1 here it will still maintain 3, 9. Therefore, therefore, our GCD is equal to 2 times 2 times 1, which is 4. So, having looked at that example, maybe I can give you some few uh, questions. It's simple. This is something you did in your previous classes. So, this is, at this point, it's basically repetition. We are basically repeating what you did in your previous classes. So questions, questions. Solve the GCD of the following sets of numbers. Sets of numbers, Roman 1, we have 7, 5, and 13. Roman 2, we have 49, 35, and 7. Roman 3, we have 120, 36, and uh, 48. So kindly, I'm mostly interested in the first question. Do it and ensure that you get 
your answer in our next session. Maybe when we ever come across GCD once again, we shall discuss that and compare answers. Otherwise, that marks the end of our discussion on the GCD of numbers. Thank you for your time. See you next time.